And here in Utah, happening today, tens of thousands of people are celebrating Utah's Golden Spike sesquicentennial anniversary. Today marks the 150 years since the construction of the Transcontinental Railroad was completed. ABC4's Rosie Nguyen joins us live at Promontory Summit in the middle of that celebration. Rosie? Brian, the event started here about half an hour ago at Golden Spike National Historic Park. Organizers tell me normally they only see hundreds of people here to help them celebrate the annual event. But today, they expect more than 10,000 people to help them celebrate the Sesky Centennial Anniversary. working as one. That was the sound of the Jupiter and number 119 trains coming into Promontory Point. Visitors got a glimpse of the musical that will premiere later today as the performers were rehearsing. The program will begin with a list of speakers, including Congressman Rob Bishop and U.S. Secretary of Transportation Elaine Chow. There will also be tributes for the railroad workers who made this all possible. But the most unique part of this event are the personal meetings for many of the visitors at the event. This has always meant a lot to me. I have a picture on my phone of my daughter when she was three years old <laughs> sitting here on the Jupiter and we were just looking at that picture this morning and we're going to redo that picture today. And as you can see right there, the Fergusons shared that photo with us that they'll be reenacting today. Now, the celebration here is expected to wrap up around 1.30 p.m., but there will continue to be activities and performances for visitors to enjoy. We'll have a recap of all the festivities tonight on ABC4 News at 4. Reporting live at Promontory Point, Rosie Nguyen, ABC4 News. What a huge day. Rosie did such a great job not interrupting anyone. I mean, look I know, at all those thousands right? of, people of people there. listening to that ceremony, mm -hmm. and she's right there at the very edge. Right. When you're there, you don't <laughs> want to disrupt anything. No. Yeah?